All right, so let's get your printer profiles, material profiles, and custom slicer profiles set up in the system. It's really easy to do, and of course, you can go on roles and permissions and decide who can actually interact with, with those after they're created. So there's a number of places that you can do this. The easiest place is to go into your fleet backend and come right to your printer profiles tab. Uh, and then you can either create a custom profile from a blank form and you choose what is your default slicing engine, starting in G code commands, you name it. Pretty straightforward. You can also go through uh, our list of printers and import a profile we already have. So you'd have to select a group to put it in. And let's suppose we want to put in a Creality CR10. We just choose that uh, printer and hit Create. And then there we go. Here it is, certain NGCO commands all filled out for me already from AstroPrint's defaults. So very straightforward uh, for materials. Uh, really similar process. Just click on the materials. You can either create your own custom, very easy, or import one of ours. For this one, we only have PLA in there. Create that, and it's done. So that's pretty much it for the back end. I'm going to show you how to create custom slicer profiles. These are done on the front end. So we're going to switch to the front end. And then you go to My Slicer Settings, New Slicer Profile. Now you need to choose the printer associated with this new slicer profile and the material type because they're all tied together. Add the slicer settings. Now you can uh, come in and because we're set with Cura 3.6 for this particular printer, we have all the settings available from Cura 3.6. If you're using Slicer Prusa Edition or others, then you have those settings. We can name this Reality Custom Settings. And then let's make it custom. There we go. We save it, and that's done. And here it is. Now, the way people will interact with all of these settings is when they go to slice and print. So if we find a file here, let's go to the slicing page. Now, you can see I don't see this Creality custom profile down here. That's because I haven't chosen a Creality printer. So the printer is a CR10 NPLA. Now I could choose my Creality custom settings. Right? Uh, I could also go to advanced slicer settings and change it yet again right before slicing if I want to. Again, this is all if I'm a user that has permission to access these things. And that's it. Pretty simple to, uh, to get this all set up.